Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at guidance today in following Christ. And we're going to look at uh, Psalm 25, 1 to 15. Okay? So let's just pray. Lord, we praise you and we worship you today. We give you thanks. And Father, I just pray that these words would be a blessing and a help and encouragement to people and I just give you the prayers and the glory today and be with each person who hears your word in Jesus name Amen Amen so we're looking at Psalm 25 Psalm 25 To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, O, o my God. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one whose hope is in you will ever be put to shame, but they will be put to shame who are treacherous without excuse. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truths and teach me, for you are God my Saviour, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, O Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you are good, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in his way. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful for those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, O Lord, forgive my iniquity, though it is great. Who then is the man who fears the Lord? He will instruct him in the way chosen for him. He will spend his days in prosperity as the descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confines in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only he will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are multiplied. Free me from my anguish. Look upon my affliction and my distress and take away all my sins. See how my enemies have increased, how fiercely they hate me. Guard my life and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. My integrity and upright protect me, because my hope is in you. Redeem Israel, O God, for all their troubles. So, how do we know God's guidance and will? Well, first of all, God's told us clearly about many many things so things some things are very very easy to work out for example sexual immorality the bible says flee sexual immorality so you don't have to ask god's will on that it's made clear um how to get saved we know what it is to get saved how to live the christian life we know that so there are clear things in the bible that tell us how to live what to think etc but then there are big decisions like getting married how do we know the right person to get married to? How do we know what right, what job? And you've got to know that God has a plan for you. He knows exactly the wife or husband. He knows exactly the church. He knows exactly the job he wants you to have, etc. He knows that. What you've got to do is do your part and then he will guide you. So the way to get guidance on these big decisions about moving house, um about getting married, about going to what university to go to, um, what uh, college to go to, or um, about what job to do, etc. First of all, this is the centre of it, the Word of God. You've got to read the Bible and search the Scriptures. Listen to what God is saying to you. Okay? Be, be ready to hear what He's saying. He might say to you through the book, that person you shouldn't marry. It'll put doubts in your mind about it. Okay? So read the Bible. The Bible is where you're gonna he's gonna speak to you and, and warn you or encourage you in a path that you feel you should go in. Uh, the next thing is you, you know, um, use your practical wisdom. Um, you know, based on what the Bible's teaching. So, for example, um, if you're considering uh, going to university to do a course, you know, if you have a passion 
and an aptitude for um, medical things and, and you have a passion for that and you have an aptitude for that well then God's given you those gifts and it talks about use your gifts in the Bible so if you're going to university it's no good doing a course that you're not going to be happy and it's no good doing a course that you can't do you've got to be practical it says use your gifts so if your gift is you're very good at medical issues and you like doing medical issues then go for a course that's on trains you to be a doctor or whatever or a nurse if you're coming up to um, getting you, you, you want to know who, who you should go out with or whatever uh, and get married to well you know there's some practical advice in the Bible you know make sure the woman's godly make sure the woman loves the Word of God etc um, but then you know you've got to pray about it ask God's guidance seek his guidance ask other people's advice um, what they think etc and then when you've had counsel from God's people and friends and counsel from God and before you ask them to marry you you, 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 you work these things out uh, do you love the person if you don't love the person it'd be stupid to get married <coughs> etc you see so these are just simple ways of you know if you're going for a job try a door think about the kind of work that you'd like to do what you're gifted at then try the door and if the door opens you know it's of God if it closes you know it's not of God and you ask God to close or open the door accordingly <coughs> these are just some little bits of uh, advice there so I'm going to give you some verses and maybe you and your friend could read these verses together and pray over them and ask yourself what do they teach you about guidance Psalm 25 verse 1 to 5 Acts chapter 13 1 to 3 Acts chapter 13 verse 50 to 52 Acts chapter 14 verse 4 to 7 and Acts chapter 16 verse 6 to 10 so go through those verses and pray and ask God to teach you about guidance through those verses and go forward depending on God and the Holy Spirit and the Word of God thank you take care now.